So this is pretty big or it's pretty minor. It's whatever way you choose to look at it. But Joel Embiid has kind of subtly put some blame on Ben Simmons for the 76ers. As we all know, the 76ers are not playing the way that we thought they would at the start of the year. The 76ers were meant to be NBA Finals contenders in the Eastern Conference, which obviously they still are, but currently they're sixth in the Eastern Conference, and that is not what we expected out of Philly this season. They're behind teams like the Toronto Raptors without Kawhi Leonard, the Indiana Pacers who don't have Victor Oladipo, the Miami Heat, which obviously I'm a Heat fan, I love the Heat, but we shouldn't be playing better than the Philadelphia 76ers on paper. Obviously we expected the Bucks and of course the Celtics to be the top two seeds in the Eastern Conference, but how is Philly with the acquisitions that they had this offseason of Josh Richardson and Al Horford and obviously re-signing Tobias Harris, how are they the sixth seed? They've lost four games in a row, They've only won three games out of their last 10, going 3-7. and seven. Away, they're 7-12, and 12, and home, they're 16-2. So at home, they're winning, but away, they're losing. So it's not something I think that the Philadelphia 76ers will actually struggle with throughout the remainder of the season, but they need to start clicking soon. With that said, before I break down what Joel Embiid said, and Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, if you enjoy NBA content, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more NBA content every single week. Leave a like if you enjoy the video. Let's aim for 1,000 likes for the next video, and be sure to hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. With that said, let's get on to the video. The first thing we noticed was Joel Embiid after the game. He said, it's taking a toll on me. If it's not taking a toll on anybody, I, I care about winning. It is taking a toll on me, um, you know. All I care about is winning. Um, I don't, it sucks. Um, we gotta find a way. I guess we gotta keep fighting. Which doesn't sound like he's putting anybody under the bus, but when you look closer at it, Joel Embiid was heard and lip read by saying it's not me to Clint Capella after the game against the Houston Rockets in which obviously they lost. In addition, it's not like the Philadelphia 76ers have been bad. They beat the Bucks quite convincingly just a few games ago. They've beaten the Nuggets, they've beaten the Raptors, they've beaten the Celtics, they've beaten the Bucks. They can beat good teams. So I don't think this is something that will continue for the remainder of the season. I just think it's a bit of a slump they're going through. But did Joel Embiid hint that Ben Simmons may be the cause of their losing? Well, this is what he had to say. But we just got to look at ourselves and see what we can do better individually. Uh, you know, we got to help each other. Uh, uh, even if it means, you know, being outside of your comfort zone as far as, you know, uh, uh, for the greater, for, to help the team uh, win. Uh, meaning that, you know, if you, if you got a space and shoot it, you got to do it. Um, I, and, we need everybody to buy in, into that and we'll be fine. So all in all, this might not mean anything, but in my opinion, this means a lot because Ben Simmons at this point right now is actually having a negative effect on the 76ers. And I'm a huge Ben Simmons fan. You know that, you can hear it in my voice. I'm Australian, I love Ben Simmons. I've made multiple videos on this channel about Ben Simmons and why I think he'll be a superstar in the league. But at this stage, I won't lie to you. I expected Ben Simmons to have somewhat of a jump shot. I didn't expect him to be a great shooter. I didn't even expect him to shoot many threes per game. But I did expect him to shoot it when he was left wide open. And I don't mean wide open, I mean like wide open, like really open to where they're literally double teaming somebody else and he still doesn't shoot the ball. I thought he would be more like Giannis, improve on his jump shot. Yeah, it may take a few years for him to get comfortable, but he literally doesn't attempt three pointers per game. And we know that, we all know that it's not anything new. But I think now it's starting to affect the 76ers more than ever before. And the most insane part about it is we saw him dominate the Houston Rockets. He put up a triple-double, had four blocks, three steals, and scored 29 points. But still, that was all without a jump shot. And I know you've heard it a thousand times, but imagine if he had a jump shot. It would be over. Especially because they have two low post players in Al Horford and Joel Embiid, and whilst both players can stretch the floor, they're both very hard to stop when they're in the low post. But it is hard to play off Ben Simmons when I guess he is a liability on the offensive end. Defensively though, he's become one of the better players in the league. Offensively though, he still can score at will in the paint, but it's when he gets into that mid-range shot or three-point shot, he just elects not to take that. And that's obviously had a huge effect on the team. But I don't think all the blame should be on Ben Simmons, and I'll justify that in this video too. I just think that at this stage, Joel Embiid is clearly unhappy, and I don't think change will happen now. But I do believe that one day, if things don't start changing and the 76ers don't start winning, 
I believe and truly believe that one of the two will get traded. And that may not be this season, it may not even be next season, but eventually if this dynamic duo does not start producing, things will change and trades will happen. And I would personally believe that they would build around Embiid much more than they would Ben Simmons. I think Ben Simmons is a type of player that once he gets the jump shot, he can be one of the most unstoppable players in the league. And I feel like he could be better than what Embiid is. But at this stage right now, Embiid doesn't have a lot of flaws. He can score in the low post. He's a decent shooter. He's a big man that can rebound, play defense. Ben Simmons as a point guard though, is 6 foot 10. Great defender, can score at will. All he needs is a jump shot and those two guys could be the greatest duo in the league, like LeBron and Davis but much younger. Instead, we're not seeing that and we're seeing the 76ers as the 6th seed with a healthy roster, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But when the bad is bad, it's really bad. There are some games when you watch Philly and you look at him and you're like, you are definitely hurting this team right now. They sag off. They let him have the shot, and he will never take it. That not only affects Ben Simmons, but it affects everybody else. It means it's harder for Joel Embiid to get in post-up situations. It also affects Al Horford. Even though Al Horford's a bit of a stretch four, he is used sometimes in the post, and it's harder when you have Ben Simmons who can't shoot. Not only that, Ben Simmons is also down on his points per game. He averaged 17 points last season, and he's only averaging 14 and a half points this season. Keep in mind, he's only taking two less field goal attempts per game and playing more minutes this season. But the one thing about Ben Simmons is that defensively he's amazing. And also you can't contribute last game where the Houston Rockets beat Philly to Ben Simmons because he actually killed last game. He played incredibly well. He dropped 29 points, shooting 13 of 20 from the field, 13 rebounds, 11 assists, 3 steals and 4 blocks. Ben Simmons on the defensive end is really, really starting to emerge as one of the best defensive players in the league as well. It's obviously, and we all know it, his inability to shoot that has really made this 76ers team struggle. But I don't think all the blame should be on Ben Simmons himself. Yes, Joel Embiid may have been referring to Ben Simmons in his quote, but also Ben Simmons has been playing very well recently and some other guys haven't. Al Horford's actually been struggling quite a bit. He's only averaging 12.5 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and he's shooting his lowest field goal percentage of his career at 45%. Keep in mind, he's basically shooting more field goal attempts than he ever did in Boston, which means he's obviously just declining as a whole. Which makes sense, he's 33 years old, but at the same time, the 76ers probably need him to be a little bit more productive. But I think the biggest reason as to why the Philadelphia 76ers are struggling so hard is just because their depth is actually really bad. Their depth is not good at all. Trey Burke is okay, Korkmaz is playing decent, but he's only averaging 8 points per game, and the rest of the bench isn't playing very good at all. So I think what they're really struggling with is just the fact that every time a starter comes off, they're replacing that starter with somebody who isn't productive at all, and it's costing the team overall. But I don't think as a whole you can blame Ben Simmons entirely for the Philadelphia 76ers performance. Joel Embiid's also having a down year, and nobody's really talking about that. Joel Embiid went from averaging 27.5 points and 13.6 rebounds to 23.7 points and 12 rebounds, which obviously 27 points per game to 23 points per game is a pretty big decline when you would assume that he'd only go up from his 27.5 points in his third season in the league. To be declining by that much isn't a good sign. But I think what we can agree on is that Joel Embiid would probably be averaging a higher amount of points if he didn't have Ben Simmons, which is why Joel Embiid may be blaming Ben Simmons for their losses, because had Ben Simmons not been on the court with Joel Embiid, it probably would have freed up the space for Joel Embiid a little bit more, giving more of the ball to him and letting him go to work down below on the post. But when you have Ben Simmons, it's a lot easier to double and triple team guys in the post, which in turn is maybe why the Philadelphia 76ers are losing. In the end though, when you look into the future, Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid could be one of the league's best duos in the future. If Ben Simmons just gets that outside jumper, we know what they could be because Ben Simmons' first two seasons in the league have been some of the best seasons in recent NBA history. He's a once-in-a-generation type talent, and so is Joel Embiid. But if Philly doesn't do well this season, do not be surprised if one of those two players will be traded. And I know it's a big call, but when you think about it, they've played in seasons together. The last two seasons, they've not made it to the NBA Finals. I think if they struggle this season, there will be changes at the end of the year, and some pretty big changes. But let me know what you think about this. Do you think Joel Embiid was referring to Ben Simmons or do you think that this was nothing and it was just him being upset that the Philadelphia 76ers have been playing very poorly? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button so you never miss an upload. It's been your boy Nick Smith. I am out. Peace.